Hi there, my name is Jacqueline McGrath and I'm an independent Epicure consultant. But you know, more importantly, I love my job. And I'm gonna tell you why. Before Epicure, I don't know what I did when it came to food. I mean, I love to cook, but Epicure just makes it so darn easy. So what I thought I'd do today is show you how quick you can put a healthy meal on your table in literally minutes. Now, you probably all know that breakfast is the most important meal of the day, right? And yet, how many of us are skipping our breakfast or we're not morning people and you just can't get your act together? And so inevitably, you just end up grabbing something that probably isn't as healthy as it could be. So this is why I'm so excited about this. I'm gonna show you how to make an omelet from scratch in literally minutes. So here's the tool that's gonna make your job so easy. Prior to um, this little tool, making omelets didn't always mean they looked like omelets. Sometimes they had scrambled eggs. So this is the master. Um, every time I use this, I have an omelet that looks like an omelet. So without any further ado, what we need to do is we need to prep it. And what we do with that is we add a little bit of oil into the omelet maker. You don't need very much, seriously, a dribble. And then this is our basting brush. This is made, again, same product, made with silicone food grade. Perfect in the microwave, does not leach anything. And there is a top and a bottom to this. <gasps> don't pour the eggs into the part that has the vents. Uh, it'll just pour out, okay? So we've got that ready. We're done with our basting brush. Now, I love having tomatoes and fresh veggies in my omelet. And this is our ceramic knife. You notice I pulled it out, it's got a, a sheath, a protector. And this is really important that you keep this on because being ceramic, of course we know if we drop ceramic, you know what happens. That means that uh, it's gonna get damaged. So a ceramic knife makes things so easy to cut. Literally, it's like butter. So um, what I love doing is I like prepping a whole bunch of tomatoes. Now you can put tomatoes on just like this. However, one of my favorite things is actually to put them in a steamer. Cut them all up, put them in a steamer, and then I actually add bruschetta in it. I love the flavoring of bruschetta on tomatoes. And who cares if I'm not just putting it on a a nice um, piece of bread. Anyway, and then I cook it in the microwave. This is our rectangular steamer. I, I swear, I'm not lying. I believe I've probably used this every day since we brought it in, if I happen to be in my home. So cook that up for two minutes, and then what you're gonna end up having is a product that looks like this. So this is basically steamed bruschetta tomatoes. I just find that when I steam it, it just gives it so much flavor, okay? So that's my little tip. Put this back on. Okay, so now we need to get our eggs organized. Now, traditionally we could have two eggs and we could put them in a bowl and we could whisk them with our piano whisk. However, one of my favorite things to do is use something else. This is called a cruet. Its actual intention was to be used for our salad dressings, which you can make from scratch. However, what I love is that when you buy the cruet, get the funnel. I'm gonna show you a little kitchen hack that I love. So I crack my eggs. I can crack them into the bowl, into these prep bowls, which we do sell these as well. They're sold in sets of four. And you'll notice I just dropped it right in. Sometimes it gets stuck in there. I just do a little squirt. Now I've got my eggs in there. I don't want to have to wash this. This is why I'm doing this. You add about two tablespoons of milk. So again, you'll need that funnel. Perfect. And then you might want to put some seasoning of your choice. Now, gosh, don't we have just a ton of different flavors? But because I wanted to do sort of a vegetarian, I thought what I would do is um, sun-kissed tomato and herbs. So I'm just gonna add about a teaspoon of that. Oh, and by the way, this is our four-in-one spoon. 
This is brilliant. In fact, um, I highly recommend in your kitchen because they're so inexpensive, you get two of them. One, so when you're putting dry uh, products in your recipes, you've got them. And one for liquids because that'll save you a ton of time when you're cooking because I know when I cooked before, what I used to do is I used to have to take a, a paper towel and clean it out before I could use it again. Okay, so now we're just going to put our lid on our cruette. Watch this. We're going to shake it up instead of whisking it. Done. Okay, and we're just going to pour it into our omelet maker. Look easy so far? Okay, so let's put a few things on top. So what you might want to do, I'm going to use a dip and spreader. Um, if it's just for me, I would just probably use my fingers, but I want to just put a little bit of tomato in here to get lots of flavor in. Perfect. And to make it a little bit healthier as well, what I might want to do is put some spinach in here. So I've chopped up some spinach again with our ceramic knife. Just put that on top. Doesn't that look healthy already? Beautiful. I don't know, maybe about an eighth of a cup. I do like my spinach. And if you want a little bit of cheese, if you're trying to have a healthy diet, look for cheese that has um, less fat in it. Try to find something that's got about 21%. Um, what I normally find is products like um, mozzarella is a really good one that you can usually find um, that has a really low fat content. Now, I should have mentioned this earlier, but most of our Epicure products are really healthy for you, which means we haven't put a lot of salt in our product. So you could put a little on of salt and pepper. And then you just put the lid on that and I'm just gonna put it in the microwave. You can tell I've done this a few times. In my microwave, it takes about two minutes and 35 seconds, but every microwave's a little bit different. So that is how you make an omelet. Now let me talk about some of the things that I haven't talked about that I've used. Okay, so these are our flexible cutting boards. Love them, they're sold in sets of four. So you get two larger size, and then you get a smaller size like this. What I love about these is after you've cut things in it, you can actually fold it and actually get it right into the bowl that you're using. Makes sense, right? Um, some other things that I um, showed you sort of but not really talked about, this is our dip in one spreader. So on one end it's like a, a knife, a spreader, and on the other side it's a spoon. This is such a handy little tool. You're going to see when I pull out my omelet that I'm going to use it yet again. Probably um, it's like one of the, it's like having a fork in a kitchen. I mean that's how often I use it. So anyway, uh, you can see I'm sitting here waiting, waiting. I mean, how often do you have to sit there and wait to have your food ready? Usually you're, you're still scrambling at this hour. So I think we've got about a minute left. Now, what I do wanna share is a little bit about breakfast. If you're gonna have a healthy breakfast, it's really important to try to get a calorie count of about 400 calories. And how you can do that is by making your omelet, or you might want to do powerhouse waffles, which I might do that demo in the, in the future. Um, you could do a smoothie, but quite often we have to enhance it. So I'm going to just show you what my plate is going to look like. This is going to be my plate when I'm done. You can see that I've got a little bit of whole grain bread, not that glutinous white bread. And I've chopped up some extra spinach. Can you tell I'm a spinach fan? So um, then simply put your omelet on top of this. You may even want to drizzle it if you want. We have a product called, well, we have a number of products. They're called finishing sauces, secret sauces. Some of you may know them by. But this is a great little extra enhancement for on top of your meal. You know what? Now that I'm thinking about it because I'm waiting, why don't I show you how easy that is to do? We're gonna take our prep bowls, remember these are sold in sets of four, and they actually have measuring graduations on them. I'm gonna put a little bit of water in here. 
And we're going to add a tablespoon. And hey, look at, notice how these actually fit right into the jar. Does your measuring spoon do that? Probably not. Not unless it's Epicure's. And we'll just give this a good stir. I should have actually done this sooner because then it would have reconstituted all the flavor. And then you've got an extra layer of flavor on top of your omelet. Okay, so I'm just gonna grab my omelet and we'll let's see what our finished product looks like. Ooh, it's hot. Um, this, is, this is really easy. In fact, if you have children, they could actually be making their own breakfast. And you may even want to consider purchasing two of these and have a breakfast bar. So have a whole bunch of things set up right at the table and people could come and make their own omelet the way they like it. Can you imagine the possibilities? Okay, so here's my omelet. Doesn't that look good? Okay, I'm gonna take this dip in one spread, the dip and spreader. Sorry, I'm off the screen, give me a second. I'll just put this on top. Look at how easy that just came out, by the way. All right, here we go. Breakfast made in two minutes. Doesn't that look fabulous? So that's how easy breakfast can be. Stay tuned. I've got more recipes, and if you haven't already done so, go on to my website. Check out all the different um, recipes you can find to make the perfect breakfast for yourself. My website address is www.jmcgrath, that's J-M-C-G-R-A-T-H dot C-A. Take care everyone, have a great breakfast and start your day out right. Bye!